energy depression is a bitch that won't stop texting me hi guys welcome back so here we are once again and this is going to be the worst of shop Masse. the things that i've tried that i personally you may like i just not liking it i'm a little picky and there's so much on the site that i think i need to be as someone who's filming about it but this is the worst of shop miss a so if you guys want to see it's not a lot so this might be a, sh a, a quicker video but there are some things that no don't do it is my opinion is my warning so if you want to know then let's go ahead and get into it the first thing are these gloves and these might have actually been put in a good of shop mistake I'm not even sure okay as far as I'm concerned I'm allowed to change my mind because as time goes on things happen you know what I mean um these are exfoliating gloves and they're not bad if they actually stay together they don't they cling on to everything and are so easily rippable that they become almost unusable you can almost just rip them yourself if you wanted to so putting them on is even an issue and they just seem to get looser and looser so i i didn't care for these and then on top of it they weren't exfoliating enough they're not rough enough you know they're not exfoliating enough for my liking so that was an epic fail and then this may be no surprise but the cosmic cowgirl quads you guys watched me in the video if you didn't in the trying new shop miss a i couldn't make these work and a lot of you really said that you did like these that you liked the colors and everything like that i do i didn't think they were horrid i didn't think they were unusable but you do have to work really hard for these which is just not worth it in my opinion and i have so many of the same shades that that are easy and effortless to work with that this just doesn't vibe with me and they are so messy you cannot even put a brush near them and they just explode it stained my bed like i just i these aren't worth it for me and that cosmic cowgirl line is just mm, another one I told you guys before and if you um, don't follow my community tab here you should because you'll know why um, I have some horrible thing going on here believe me there is so much coverage on this and right here there's so much coverage on that but I try not to cover the one on my neck I might have with foundation um, how am I gonna show you guys I don't know if you'll be able to see it. It's up there. Right there. I used this. And I then I thought it might have been the foundation or this. But I tried it again. And that's when other things happened. So I knew it was this. I tried them one each, each day. You know, like one waited a little bit, see if anything happened. Tried the other one, waited a little bit, you know. And this was the culprit. The cowgirl cos the cosmic cowgirl skin grip primer i actually liked the product it was fragrancy um the packaging was wonky and it's gonna break but that doesn't uh, like repel me against a makeup product unless the product's not worth it you know but the product is good it just made me break out in like almost cystic type acne like acne that is so painful and like there's nothing in it or nothing that wants to come out of it you know like it's just there and I, now I have these open like wounds almost on my face like just horrible and on my neck too and because I put my primer down my neck because I also put foundation down my neck and I want it to stay this was the culprit though thank goodness it wasn't the foundation because I kind of like that foundation but this so so far the cosmic cowgirl line I'm not quite sure if I'm impressed. I don't know if that's a line for me. And then we have the Global Beauty products that I tried. And I tried. The Smooth and Lift Collagen Eye Cream. This is the worst one of all. I have had to cover with makeup very strongly the outside corners of my eyes because they are peeling, cracking to the point of almost bleeding. 
since starting to use this. Now this is supposed to be with peptides and hyaluronic acid, acid and squalane, which means it's supposed to be very hydrating. It dried me out so bad and stung, stung the top of my eyelids and it caused damage. So absolutely not. And the Global Beauty Care Smooth and Lift Collagen face, Facial Serum actually caused me to start start to have dry spots on my face. I've never had dry spots on my face ever in my life. I'm oily. So these, while they say they are hydrating and gray and lift, there's no lift to it. Um, no smoothing that I saw other than the breakouts and horrible things. All I saw were dry patches and cracks at the corner of my eyes. So I got nothing from them. Global Beauty is a very, very more hit than miss brand and their their ingredients are usually not the best and i would recommend probably overall staying away from their products anywhere um shop miss a the dollar tree and big lots all those kind of discount stores that carry global beauty i would really just stay away i know that they are so affordable but and it's so tempting but I've only think I think I've only had one good experience with one of their products, and that was only because I don't have sensitive skin on my body. The next thing I did mention also in that trying new makeup from AOA, but it was just in passing, the Easy Brow Gel. I had that and the colored one. I think I put the color one like in the pass on pile already, but I do have this one to show you guys. This is the clear one, which is usually what I use. These are horrible. There's nothing on there. They come out dry as crap, no matter how much you dig around in there. And then when you put them on, they do nothing. Your eyebrows still move to go right back to where they were. There's no shaping. There's nothing. Nothing. And then if you really do dig in there and get a little bit in there, they're spiky. They're hard. They're crunchy. They're nothing that we want for our eyebrows when we're thinking of an eyebrow gel that's going to stick down. I have too many others that don't do this, and this one is just not for me. And then lastly, another brow product, part of that line, the Easy Brow Styler. I don't normally personally like the slanted type kind, the ones that are slanted, like the It Cosmetics, and I, I don't like those. I'm more of a micro pencil girl but i loved how it had a brush like a legit brush at the end of it you know i thought that was cool um i started using these and at first i tried the medium it was it turned my eyebrows red red so i was like okay well maybe i need to go to the dark the dark turned them dark red and you can't get a good line with these so you'll have chunky like huge block eyebrows from trying to use these so it ended up doing absolutely nothing but making me frustrated which I already am when I try to do my eyebrows so this just was not for me I don't like the easy brow line I think they need to rethink it just like they need to rethink the cosmic cowgirl line I don't know why because when they come out with collections they're usually very very good I absolutely love the fly with me collection the magical girl collection and there's more too I just can't think of them, of them off the top of my head but they have some really really good collections and I was excited about the cosmic cowgirl because it's the first new collection that I have start I've started buying from and I wouldn't recommend. I just wouldn't. So that is everything so far that I'm not caring for from Shop Miss A. Um, if you guys have any thoughts or opinions on them, leave them down below in the comments. If you want to see more of these videos, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss them. And I, of course, will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.